Dan, the head teacher at this school uh, has basically said the education chiefs need to look at assessment because if a huge part of, for instance, your English exam result is down to an assessment that you could put <coughs> through chat GPD and it would get you an automatic A star, why would any student not bother putting it through chat GPT? I think so. Uh, just to clarify, I wasn't a head teacher. Uh, okay. I, was, I, was on, I was on an SLT. Well, let's mark but... our own homework and get that wrong. <laughs> right, OK. That's what the bot told us. <laughs> um, <laughs> on. I think, I think you, you're absolutely right. And, but this, isn't, this is not a modern problem. I remember, I remember, and I'm about to admit something, which I've, I don't think I've ever admitted. Careful, yet. careful. But when I, was, uh, when I was 15 doing the coursework for my biology GCSE, I think it was, I remember downloading <coughs> an example a uh, bit of coursework yeah. and, mm -hmm. and pretty much passing it off as my own. Yeah. Now, so this is not new. And we see students cheating all of the time and, and using <coughs> different tools. Mm -hmm. This technology, however, is, is vastly superior and it has the ability to, to, to imitate students. Like, for example, I was on Twitter last night mm -hmm. and the, some company have come up with a, with a plagiarism software that supposedly checks it. And yes. like, mm -hmm. Here it is, <coughs> check it. Um, I went on, tried it, put, put something in ChatGPT, got it to imitate a, a student's bit of work and it couldn't identify. It couldn't it identify. Didn't work. Right. No. You see, the Department of Education is, is, is telling us that actually teachers who know their pupils and know their personalities, they can tell the difference between an essay or a piece of coursework that a pupil has written themselves and one that they've downloaded. But actually, that's just not true. I was speaking to the mother of teenage boys yesterday about this story, who told me that routinely her sons now download these answers, submit them to class, and they get A-stars. Simple as that. They, they can't tell the difference. Absolutely. So, the, so they're not learning anything. Well, the solution is we need to embrace it and think of new ways that we can bring this technology into the classroom. Because mm. let's be honest as well, when they leave school and they go into the workplace, they, this is going to be incorporated into a lot of the tools that they they're using. Because they won't know anything. They'll have, they'll have these wonderful examination results, but they won't have learned anything because they've simply have accessed well, the I information think, Richard, I think online. the question there is, do we need to change how we do exams? Well, that's the question. Well, that is the question, I think they? to a certain degree, we have to move on from, from exams. So instead of doubling down on exams <coughs> as the solution, we actually have to think, how do we incorporate this chat GPT or the, the AI that's going to come? Yeah. McKinsey and company said that in the next 10 years, we're going to see more technological progress than we have in the last 100 years. Yes. So yes. we're going to have these wow moments yes. on a regular basis. So what do we now. do? How do we incorporate it? I think, well, it it's for assessment. I think there's two sides of this. There's assessing yeah. how <laughs> students can use it, because once they leave school, in fact, not even once they leave, in their homes, they're going to be using it. Yeah. Just think what this is going to do when it's incorporated into your voice assistant at home, things like that. They're going to be using it on a regular basis. So it's how do, how do we assess how they're using it? Almost like a companion in, in a, an assessment mm -hmm. situation. But in the meantime, it's not just coursework that people are using it for, it's online exams. And for universities, for instance, are still running online exams. Just put your exam through ChatGPT and it'll do it for you. I think, well, the, <coughs> that leads on to the whole question. If, if we're teaching our students something that an AI bot can do, are we teaching them the right thing? What mm. a profound question to yeah. end it on. Thanks very much Thank you, indeed. Brilliant.